Okay, here's a uh, impromptu kind of video thing that will probably only apply to a small number of people, but it needs to be done nonetheless. Um, the big Pokemon tournament on the server is tomorrow. We have decided that, like, that the official time for it is uh, 5 p.m. Central Time, and you can convert that to whatever time zone you're in. Um, and so we're just I'm just going to kind of go through some of the last-minute rules and stuff. This will be all like repeated when it actually starts but we're just trying to make sure that everybody knows what's going on um here in the arena underneath this giant dragon thing uh is the pokemon center where everybody will be healing between battles and stuff um i should probably should put some machines out in the field too actually now that i think about it but um if you um are in the tournament basically you need to have your team registered uh, you put it in this chest, and then we will collect it later. We've got plenty of signed books here, or, like, book and quills. Uh, there's an official rule book here you can read. Uh, basically, you want to put the info of all of all three of your team members, including their levels, uh, move sets, held items, um, so that we basically just know what you're going to be using, and because there's, like, certain things that are banned. So just going over those once again, um, Dragon Rage is banned banned from the Pichu Cup because it is very broken against lower leveled stuff. It is okay for all the other cups though. Um, one of it, one of the later additions to the rules is that we have banned Protect, Detect, Quick Guard, and Wide Guard because of a bug that makes them work 100% of the time. We deemed this very broken, especially when used with stalling strategies, so they're just kind of banned. If you have it on one of your Pokemon, you're just kind of not allowed to use it. I did put up like a little notification to let us know about that, but now it's a bit late. And um, the other rules have been posted pretty much, like no legendaries. Oh well, no, there's just no Rayquaza. You can use the legendaries in uh in the Prime Cup. You have to have the six. You have to have the four badges for Prime Cup, etc. I've gone over all that before. But here are some other uh, rules that need to be said. First of all, all of your Pokemon. Um, should have nicknames, or should not have nicknames, rather. If you want to have the nickname, then at least put the real name in parentheses afterwards, like this. Um, the reason we're doing that is because um, sometimes the camera really sucks, and you can't actually see what you're fighting. And I know from experience that a lot of battles kind of devolve into, okay, what is that thing? Like, I need to know what I'm attacking here. And we want to basically keep the... Uh, chat as empty as possible just so that it doesn't get overly confusing so really um like when you're in the when you're in battles only say stuff if you really have to i mean obviously we're not going to like get on somebody's case for like saying one or two things but just don't flood the chat um just general rules like don't be a sore loser um don't try to lie about winning when you didn't just, I mean, obvious stuff like that. I mean, we are going to have, like, other people who aren't fighting, kind of watching over, making sure that things are going well. If you do do something that's against the rules, then, I mean, it's kind of up to your opponent to report that. So just kind of be mindful of that. If you fight somebody who's breaking the rules, be sure to let us know. And that is mostly it. Um, we're going to be going through all four of the cups in order of uh, lowest level to highest. So starting with Pichu Cup, going up through Prime. And we're going to be using all four of these. I still have to figure out exactly how the um, how everything's being divided up, but I do have kind of a formula for it. So we're basically just going to kind of shout out, like, so-and-so and so-and-so go fight at X field. And so we've got the ruby sapphire one, the gold and silver one, and then over here we have uh, the black and white one and the Diamond Pearl one. So, I mean, those will be abbreviated to GS, RS, DP, and BW. I don't know. I mean, if it, it shouldn't be confusing. I mean, if people don't know what we're talking about, obviously we'll elaborate. We have a scoreboard over there, which I will be updating, um, probably just to give it, like, uh, colored rows. And I'm going to um, basically just assign everybody a color. So, like, for example, like, let's say Sitwis is blue, so we'll... And then... Up there is custard, and let's say he's red. So we'll just say, like, 
Because I mean, because if somebody's going to have to be over here, like basically marking off the score and not going to want to constantly look over at the names. So when it comes to your turn, we'll just say like, uh, blue and red go fight on the GS field, and hopefully that'll kind of get the point across. To mark how the scoring works, we are going to be using torches and buttons. Basically, um. You'll want to, like, for each person, you're looking at your own perspective on the left. So let me see where mine is. Um, if it's even on here, let me look. Actually, I don't think it is. Okay, so let's just do Bruno's because it's at the top. Um, so let's say Bruno versus Noob. Um, and we'll say that Bruno wins, so we get a torch here. And then at the same, like, on the same sense... We now will have to mark it on the other side. So noob versus Bruna, we put a button there to mark a loss. And so all the way across, there will be different torches and buttons, etc. Like every space should be filled except for the black diagonal line because obviously you can't fight yourself. So it'll just be an easy way of looking across the row, see how many torches you got. That's how many wins you got. Um, and so when it comes down to the end of it, obviously the people who have the most wins will be the winners. Um, if there are ties, then everybody who tied just basically has to, yep, um, everybody will have to, like, go into an another round until we do have a definite victor. I th think that pretty much covers it. If we think of anything else, we'll be sure to mention it during the actual tournament, so just make sure you get your team ready and registered, and I hope everybody has a good time and that this will work out well enough that we will be able to have more things like this in the future.